Hey guys, welcome back to another computer application tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating lists with um, HTML. Hope you enjoy. Jumping right in, we're going to be looking at um, this presentation where we will be looking at three things. Firstly, ordered lists, then we're going to be looking at unordered lists, and then when to use which. Alright, so what is an ordered list? It's got an order, it's got a specific sequence, so it's going to be numbered, or there's going to be letters, or uh, Roman numerals. Alright, as you can see on the screen, we've got one there, one, two, three, there it's an ordered list. Now, how do we start this? We have to first start with the opening tag, and that tells the browser, listen, this is the start of a list, and this list is an ordered list. Then we need to close that off at the end, and that just tells the browser, okay, we're done, this is the end of our list. Each list item, so as you can see, we've got three items there, is going to have to, uh, to use an LI, which is in the front, which indicates the start of the item. And then we're going to have a closing LI, which indicates the end of that particular item. Now, because we have three um, items within this um, uh, list here, we need to have three sets of these list item tags. And there we go. All right, each one showing the start of the item and then another one showing the end. So the opening is the start and the closing would be the end of the item and there's three sets. Now moving on to the unordered list, you will notice that there is no specific order. We're not numbering them. We don't have them in any um, particular order that we feel is more important than the next. It's just a bulleted list and what you need to realize, the only difference between an ordered list and an unordered list is this tag, the UL. So if you're doing an unordered list, you start with the UL, the same thing applies. This is the opening, letting the browser know this is the start of the list, but this list is unordered. And then that's the end, and the same thing with the items. We have to use the LI, which is exactly the same one we use for the OL list, the ordered list. And that tells you the start of the item. The one at the back, this is a closing tag, tells you the end of the item. And then if you've got three items in your list, you need to make sure that you've got three sets of these tags. All right, so when to use which? Well, if you need to have something in a specific order, then it is important to use an ordered list. So if we have to look at a recipe, for example, the method would be saved in an ordered uh, list because it is important that you follow that specific order when baking or cooking something. An unordered list, we can also look at the recipe and look at the part where a person would list the ingredients. It doesn't matter what order you pull the ingredients out of the pantry. So it, you don't have to worry about taking the sugar out first and then getting the flour. It's the method that has all those steps. We just need to gather all the ingredients. Which one you get first is irrelevant. So if the order is irrelevant, we can use an unordered list um, to use um, for those particular examples. All right, so we're done with that. We are going to start a new Notepad++, we're going to start a new page. We're not going to work off the same one we've been working off. Uh, just to remind ourselves about the structure and what we need to do in the beginning. The more we do something, the easier it gets and we never forget it. Okay, so we're going to open up Notepad++. Mine is on my taskbar. And if you open yours up and there's other tags at the top, then it's because they're tags of previous work that you were doing. So you can just close them all up. But just click on the little... Um, close button. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is tell my notepad that I am going to be coding in a language called HTML. So it knows this and the reason we do this is because it, it helps us. So if we type in tags, the tags will be in blue. If we have the opening and closing tags, the editor will have them highlighted in purple for us and the content we type in will be in black so we can differentiate between what is tag, what is content. Alright, so the first tag we need to um, open up is always going to be the HTML tag. That tells the browser this is the start of our code. 
and this next tag is the head tag and it tells the browser listen this is the start of the head now within the head we need to have a title tag and for this particular title I'm going to just call this lists and then over here I'm going to close the title now it's very nice you can see because we picked the uh, HTML language you can see the tags are in blue and the content that goes in between them is in black easier to read easy to identify and now we need to close the head and this is where we get to the juicy bit now we're going to be working in the body as well with the lists and open the tag and close the body and we have one more tag to work with and that is the closing tag for the HTML which basically tells the browser listen this is the end of my code right so I'm going to be working inside the body tag over here before I carry on let us save the page so we're going to go to the disk now because this is the first time I'm actually saving it it's going to open up in um, a save as window as you can see here all right there we go and the save as window is going to ask me to pick a location where do I want to save it I'm going to go for the um, desktop and let's go yeah desktop the name I'm going to change this name today to um, website with list okay and as you can see at the bottom here save as type um, it already says hypertext markup language because we've picked that language within the editor when I click on save it's going to save into my desktop my desktop has I've got two desktops so I just need to click and pull this up onto our screen that we're currently working with there we go alright so as you can see the um, browser is empty but we do at least have our title at the top that we typed in lists and then we got our URL and this is exactly where the page um, location is on my uh, local machine alright so back to the code now we're going to look at the first list and this list we're going to create is going to be an ordered list and you can hear the dogs barking in the background so let me give you my list of most favorite pets to least favorite let me just give you three items so let me start with first of all ol and that is telling the browser that this list that i'm starting to create is an ordered list that needs to have some kind of sequence in it whether it be numbers or letters right so then li is the tag that indicates the uh, beginning of my first item and it's going to be dog clearly there's three barking in the background then my next favorite if I can't have a dog will be a fish and then I close that item and then my last one clearly you can see I like two animals that do not get along with this particular one and I do not fancy having a cat at all all right so there I go I've got my list done I'm now going to move my cursor in line with the OL that I opened up and now I'm going to close my ordered list all right so that's done I'm going to click on save let's go see what this has created for us now remember nothing will show because the browser is already opened and it read the code the first time and there was no code to read besides the title which was list so in order for me to now get the browser to show the new code I need to get it to reread it and by refreshing it that's what I do and as you can see there we go so if this was an order of um, uh, animals that I liked from most to least I would start off with number one there we go dog two is fish and three is cat alright so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this list like this control and C to copy and then I'm going to push enter and then control and V to paste and let me just get this lined up nicely there we go alright so all I'm going to do now is save this and I want to show you what happens all we need to do okay refresh see now I've got two ordered lists all I'm going to do is change something in this list so you can see how easy it is to go from an ordered list 
to an unordered list or from an unordered to an ordered, whichever way you need to go. And what all you need to do is go to the first tag, which is the OL and change it to a UL, like I mentioned in the presentation. And that will automatically make this an unordered list. The LIs are the same tags that you use to list the items. Let's save that, change, go and browse. And when I refresh, you will see that it's no longer ordered. It is a bulleted list. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, tutorial. Um, in the tutorials coming up now, we're going to start looking at attributes. So up until now, we've been working with the tags at their default values. So we are able to actually go into the tag and change it. And so that is what the next videos, um, upcoming videos are really going to be about. All right, guys. So until then, keep well, keep practicing. And if you do like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so any new content will be brought to your attention. Right. Cheers.